Hello, and welcome back to more Star Stealing Prince. Um, we're gonna continue. We're almost done with this, um, this dungeon here. Uh, I got a little turned around, but, uh, pretty sure I know where I am now. I just have to get my way back to the, uh, the main room. This little guy all by himself. You know, I don't remember fighting so many monsters, like, single, uh, batches of monsters. When I first played this, I think that might have been a, uh, a change made afterwards to make it a little easier to, you know, wander around without getting your ass kicked. Because when you're up against one guy, I mean, it's not much you can do. You know, it's four of them. And they all have all sorts of, uh, really tough spells, so that's that. Oh yeah, here we are. Alright, so we're going to go up here. And this is the maiden puzzle. And uh, we should talk about this puzzle a little bit. Um, the way this works is you get clues from the statues as to what their names are, and then you got to tell them their names. And it's one of those puzzles where the work is done kind of, you know, off-screen. You take a pen and paper and work it out. Oh, actually, it's not even on yet. I have to, like, activate it. Um... So, you know, I did that before. I used uh, the clues. I made a little map, and it was a good time. But that sort of thing just um, just doesn't translate to the Let's Play format. You know, you, you'd just be looking at snow standing there while I did the work off screen. So, since I've already done this once, and since it would be boring as hell to do it that way again, I'm just going to give everybody their names. I got the list of them right over here. And uh, so if you don't want to know the solution to this puzzle, you should uh, fast forward a few minutes, because I'm just going to walk around and uh, and tell everybody uh, their names, starting with this one. And uh, you know, it's a fun puzzle, though. I mean, it's uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. Makes you think, makes you use your brain. But uh, you know, the Let's Play format does have its limitations. I guess if I was like a a very uh, skilled editor, cinematographer, whatever you want to call it, I could, um, you know, I could have like another window open up with, with me writing shit down based on my clues, but that's, that's a lot of work. And I still don't think you guys want to watch me just figure this out. So, we're just giving everybody the name. That's what we'll do. Think of this as a uh, little walkthrough. You know, if you've been if you're stuck on this for whatever reason, and uh, is there a way to get in there? Can't remember. I know if you screw this up and you give any of them the wrong name, they get all pissed and like drop you into this pit where there's monsters and stuff. I can't remember if there's any items down there. I hope not. I'm thinking there wasn't anything too important. Maybe there's a potion or something down there. I don't know, but I ain't gonna drop myself down there for the, for that done enough fighting in this dungeon, that's for sure. And thankfully, there aren't any battles, um, which is good, you know, that's, uh, when you do a puzzle like this, battles are just a pain in the ass, they sort of break your, uh, your flow when you're trying to, you know, think it through. So, um, if you remember, I don't know if any of you guys have watched my, uh, my clean slate walkthrough, um, there was a dungeon in that game where you had to chase a guy around a room. And it was hard, it was really fast. Um, you had to sort of try and back him into a corner. But there were random battles. So you'd be like this close to catching him. And then you'd have to like fight or run away, and then he'd just get away from you because you 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 know you broke your your sprint. And it was really just like a terrible, <laughs> terrible design decision. And it was my game, just in case anybody doesn't know that. That was my old game from you know, twelve, thirteen years ago. And uh, but I would oh, I would never do that again. And, uh, thankfully that's, you know, that's not what happens here. Alright, we're about two-thirds done with this. Getting all these maiden gems. Which, offhand, I can't remember exactly what they're for. But, uh, I think you do something with them later, I don't know. That's pretty much how it is with this game. Sh you know, most of the time, you should never think that these little things you're doing don't mean anything, because they probably do. Alright, 
it says like two or three more. And then it's time for my rematch with the Chimera. And that's going to be a challenge, I'm, I'm sure. Okay. Last two over here. Next time they ought to put their names, you know, somewhere safe. Maybe put them in like a, a box or something so the monsters don't steal them. I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta adapt when you live in a dangerous environment like this. You can't just leave your names, like, out there. It's pretty important. Alrighty. Let's step here and move you inside here. And I, is it, Oh, maybe you can't. Maybe they're just for decoration after all. Those little side rooms. Ah, oh, well. Right, here we go. This is where he is. Boy, I know this room well. I died like 15 times before. But I, I was fighting the, the tougher Chimera, though. The one without its stats lowered over. Here he is. Actually, looks kind of cute. <laughs> As a sprite. But he's not. He's a little bastard. So, gotta break out the usual, uh, usual items. Gotta grab these things. Do some buffs too. Yeah, put that barrier up. There we go. That should put us on pretty good footing. Let's see, let's see what works good on him. Oh, I want that energy rain. I remember that being good. It looks like I gotta take a few more beatings before I can use it. Oh, that did pretty good damage to Flame, too. Ah, you missed. How do you miss when you make the ground shake? It's pretty shitty ground shaking, buddy. Use a stronger magical attack with her. At least one that I can use, you know, at any time. Not one that's tied to how much damage I've taken. I'll probably get one soon enough, though. Yeah, this freaking debuff's already worn off. I think it's because he, like, basically takes two turns a lot of the time. This guy. My buff's probably gone too. Um, so he sort of, like, he burns through the effect faster. It's hyperactive. Oh, oh shit. Oh man, that, that hurt. Oh boy. Oh, she's got like, oh man. That's <laughs> barely alive. Okay, I better cure her. And I'm gonna have her do her curing thing. Just make extra sure. And then I'll have him revive Relenia. And if the timing's right, she should be up in time to get cured by the other guy. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Fucking shit. That ground shaking attack, man. I guess he stepped it up since I mocked him. Cure uh, first, then I'll do my energy rain. Rock bludgeon. Ah, I think he did that before, too. I just. It's so ingrained into my strategy now. I want to do anything again. Buffs are gone. You know, he's doing such good damage that I maybe I should put somebody else in charge of that. Yeah, I'll make these two do the debuffing. You do that one. You do the other one. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Multiple hits. Energy rain's good stuff. Oof. Okay, we're hanging in. Taking some tough hits, but nothing fatal by any means. I'm not sure if Relenia got to go though, so I'm gonna do that one again. Oh, oh, I can't even tell. He's got so many. He's, oh, dude. Frazzled. I hate being frazzled. Makes my hair stand up and all that. It sucks. Let's see if I can get Snow back in action here. 
is just too important to be taken out of a turn. Securing his, uh, his flame is doing actually doing good damage to this guy. Alright, uh, yep, is that energy rain? That's the nice thing about these boss fights, though, you get to use your <laughs> those attacks you know, quite a bit because you're always getting hit. Now look at that, now I get to use it again. It's almost a tactical uh, mistake for him to be doing that, if you think about it. Because. You know, I can cure. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, he's dead. Look at that. Hey, he wasn't that bad. Come to think of it, most of the fights have been easier than I remember. The honeymoon's gonna end sometime, though. Probably the boss of the, the sepulchre. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. That one was so hard. Um, but yeah, this. But I guess uh, I sort of, you know, was made. Uh, stronger by my fights with the original Chimera, the one with his stats in full effect that the sort of neutered version didn't stand a chance. But now we're done here and Lenny is grumpy and we're gonna make our way out to the, um, to the floating island. Here we go. This nice little... oh no, not yet. We gotta do this first. Gonna use this magic crystal. She's not very happy about this. She's nervous. I should listen to her snow. She's got experience. Like twice your age or something, I think. I can't remember the exact ages of everybody. Um, yeah, let me get a little zapped up here. That kind of reminds me of Chrono Trigger. You know, with the, the shitty frozen part, and then you get like the nice floating part. It's pretty similar, actually. Um, Alright, oh, chapter 5. This is a long chapter. We're going to be here for a while. There's some lengthy dungeons and stuff in this part. Yes, now we've arrived. And there's a lot of, like... If I remember right, there's a lot of little things like this book that sort of gradually give you the story behind what happened here and what exactly Snow's parents, um, you know, were doing here. And, uh, that's pretty cool. Just because it's spread out over such a long time, it just creates this you know, gradual, uh, you know, flow of information. Yeah, I'll stop looking away. I want treasure. Now, that sword looks pretty sweet, but I won't be able to get it for a while. Turn around. Alright, so that, I think that did something downstairs. Yep, some stuff. Free stuff. Another book for Relenia. Is it? I know I always do this. Yeah, here we go. I think that opens up. Yep, here we go. Now, the lady's key. That's probably important for something. I don't know. It's locked. Yeah, it wasn't that easy. <laughs> it's definitely not that easy. Um, oh boy. Alright, looks like I can't get out of his way this time. We're fighting. Aw, cute little fucking winged gophers with trumpets. Oh, nice. We got some leftover. Uh, yeah, we got some leftover attacks from Shimmer. Now we kick some butt now. Alright. That guy's good at dodging. He's dodged a lot of shit. But uh, he's gotta be getting near the end though. Yep, goodbye. And here we are. Quite a different environment than what we've seen, uh, you know, for the rest of this game. <laughs> and, um, 
it's really bright, you know, it's almost like unusually bright. And I think in the past I would have said it was like kind of an unrealistically bright, but uh, I had a little, I had to kind of experience on vacation. We went to um, Cape Breton in Nova Scotia, is the Highlands National Park. And the first day we got in the park, it was just like so bright. You know, the sun was out and everything, and you know there wasn't much highlands, of course, so there wasn't much like in the, you know in between you and the sun. And uh, Evil Rod, I'll finish the story in a minute. Where's the Evil Rod? But it's been dipped in evil. Dipped in yeah, evil. It's the stuff I like to spread on my sandwiches. Um, but anyway, it was just like so bright there. You can tell with some of the pictures we have. You know, I got a close up of uh, one of my kid's faces, and uh, it's just his face, and then there's just like a big, like white light behind him. You know, it's only, he's just being like backlit by the by the sun. It was it was so bright there. It's pretty cool. You know what I always thought was funny about um, Nova Scotia is that you know it means New Scotland. Because uh, Scottish settlers uh, came there, and what I just think is really funny is that they, you know, Scotland itself has highlands. It's known for its highlands, and then they came to another place. They sailed, and then Cape Breton was the, you know, the first part of the um, North America that they saw, and then there was more highlands. <laughs> you know, they must have they must have thought like everywhere was like that. It's kind of funny. But uh, now we're, we're selling some of my stuff. You dirty rag. Oh man, that horn's worth a nice chunk of money. Should go poaching for Shamara sometime. Get to figure out where they live. So for hidden stuff, there's a. Uh, Alright, let's see. Whoa, a whole batch of different angel things. Let's give them a. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give them the old evil strike. Ooh, armor pierce. That sounds good. Ooh, that, oh, that did nice damage. Wow. Holy shit. That did really good damage. The armor strike? Or armor pierce? That shit was awesome. And I can do it again. Oh, I wish I could do that again. Looks like the rock budgets. Not working anymore. I guess we're just kicking too much ass in the last dungeon. This guy's gotta be good though. Pierce missed. That sucks. What a waste. Let's take his ass out. Man. How about time? That guy fought hard. Alright, let me use one of those statues. Get him. Got a little roughed up from that one. More so for the magic points than the what you got to say? Yeah, right, like I'm gonna believe that. It's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh man, that's well hidden. No wonder he gives you a hint. Here we go. What do you got to say for yourself? Show him the way the book right in his face. Yeah, well, he decided not to take the bait. Yeah, we 
got that. Good stuff. There's another goodie over there. Alright, I think that's enough goodie hunting. I'm <laughs> checking all these pockets now. I don't think there'd be more than one book hidden in the trees like that. One's probably it. Ah, go away, you fuckers. Here's something. Oh, it looks like I'm not getting out of here without fighting those guys. Gophers! Cute fellas. Why do we have to fight? Can I just pet your little heads? I got their asses kicked. See, you should just let me, you know, adopt you. Yeah, okay, weirdo. Now we are moving on to the, the, the hedge maze before we get into that giant fucking castle. It's just as big as it looks. Oh man, I remember that took me so long. Alright, here's the hedge maze. Now, well, hate that tree is overstating it a little bit. It's not that that bad. You go left to find the way out, but we're going this way because there's a book. Another book. This is one of the few I missed last time. But this time I will have it. It's for my man Hiante. Oh, I thank you for volunteering to, to try out my new spell. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Mm. I guess the paralysis didn't work on her. <laughs> Boy, she took a lot of hits, though, man. See, a lot of these, these spells do status effects. You know, even if you don't even realize it's happening. Which is nice. Anything over here? No. That doesn't look like it. Alright, so you go left first, but I mean, after you get that book. Two of these angels. I can't tell what they're wearing on their feet there. Are those like little pink ballet shoes? Or sandals, maybe? Yeah, it's probably sandals. That's usually what angels wear. If they have anything on their feet, sometimes they're to barefoot, but I think those are little sandals. You guys aren't that tough. It's the ones in the other dungeon. Like this, you know, when we get to it, those are the ones that are tough. Um, oh, there's a goodie over there. Let's sprint over and get it. Too slow. Oops. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Oh, another solo monster. Yeah, there's that. I think that must have changed since the last time I played this. I can't remember, like, aside from bosses, hardly ever fighting a regular monster. Just, you know, by himself or herself. Probably helps with the balance a little bit, though. Nice crit. Oof. Okay. Over here, there's a treasure. I'll have to go up a little farther up to get it. This is like a stupidly pretty hedge maze, by the way. All those little, like, roses or whatever they are, like, you know, and the sunflowers and the... It's just quite, it's quite spectacular. A robe, huh? That sounds like something Snow might wear. It's not exactly a heavy armor kind of guy. Which I like, by the way. You know, because a lot of... A lot of these games assume that even, like, a... Somebody would know, what the hell is that? That weird looking thing. Look at that fucking grin it's giving me. I don't like it. I take him out quick and hard. Alright. Well, I guess he wasn't so tough. <laughs> he just psychs you out with that grin of his. The Sun Gauntlet. I'm starting to see a pattern here. 
But like I was saying, a lot of RPGs kind of assume that, you know, everybody can just wear armor with no problem. Um, you know, even if they have no training or anything like that. And, uh, it's not really like that. You know, when I, when I, when I was in, um, England, I spent a semester there, uh, during college. I went to, um, some castle, War Castle. It was War Castle, yeah. And, um, you could try on chainmail. And that shit was heavy. Like, you know, you just got, like, metal hanging off you. And just, I think you probably have to, like, you know, just spend time, you know, doing exercises in it, or even just walking around in it. Because even in, like, the five or ten minutes that I had it on, it felt, like, a little lighter by the end. You know, you just sort of adjust. But if you were going to put something like that on and, like, you know, hey, book. That was just barely visible, too. Um, but if you were going to put something like that on, I mean, you'd tie yourself out. Not to mention, like, fucking fighting people in it. So, I kind of like that Snow just has, uh, robes and stuff, because he's not a, a warrior, really. He's a good mage, but he's not a warrior in the way that Hiante is, or even that Astra is. Alright, so, this is where we get off. Go we'll grab these goodies over here first, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Magic gem. Yeah, I've been a little disappointed in it. Um, Astra's magic attack, so... Let's make him better. I guess this is a good place to wrap up. There'll be plenty more of the sepulchre next time. Till then, peace.